because his insights on how men and women keep score is absolutely brilliant. It truly is. You see, men, when it comes to us keeping score, we're quick to give ourselves huge bonus points for everything we do. <laughs> you know, we crawl out of bed when we'd rather stay in, and just for that, we give ourselves 500 points. <laughs> and then we go to work, and we put up with all the stuff at work, and we earn the paycheck, and we give ourselves, you know, 2,000 points for that. And we come home without chasing other women, and we give ourselves huge points for that, you know. So, so we walk in the door, it's like 4,500, you know. And that's why a lot of men have no problem sitting on the couch and now contributing nothing. Because in his mind, he's way up in points for the day, and now he's given you a chance to catch up. <laughs> now, I didn't say it was right. Don't get mad at me. I'm just saying this is the way his brain ticks. And a lot of guys will actually start feeling very bitter towards their wives if they feel their wives are trying to make them do stuff. Because in his male psyche, he's way up in points for the day. He shouldn't have to do anything else. Now, the problem here is that women keep score a little differently. Let me show you how a woman would score the same man's day. He gets out of bed when he'd rather stay in. And for that, she loves and appreciates him and gives him, ding, one point. <laughs> and then he goes to work and he earns a big paycheck and does all this stuff. And she goes, ah, I love that. And she goes, ding, one point. And then he comes home without chasing other women and, and comes home. And she's so glad to see him. Ding, one point. So you walk in, you got three. <laughs> well, she also got up. She also went to work. She also cleaned the toilet. She also took the kids to piano lessons. She also had it. You know, it's 13 to three. <laughs> and you don't want to do anything? And now she starts screaming at her husband, which in a way is a good thing because it's the silent ones who really too kill, do kill people. <laughs> it gets quieter on your health. I'd get nervous if I were you. So um, she, she, she starts getting very, very angry. Now, when guys first hear about this, they get very discouraged. They go, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that no matter what I do, I get one lousy stinking point? Well, the answer is, Yes. <laughs> but the good news is you can make this work for you. Because what men fail to realize is that women respond to virtually any simple act of kindness and reward it the same way as they would a big act of kindness. Right? Now, guys don't understand this. They think it's got to be big. It's got to be special. Girls, you have to understand, the reason why we don't do a lot of small things around the house is because to a man, it doesn't mean anything. It's not that we hate you. We just couldn't possibly care less. <laughs> it means nothing, and because it means nothing to us, we think it should mean nothing to you. But guys, you can't make that mistake. She scores very differently from you. Simple acts of kindness. It's, it's those simple, like, like I told you last night, it's those simple acts of kindness that got her to fall in love with you in the first place. It's relatively easy to get a woman to fall in love with you if she'll pay attention to you in the first place. That's the hard part. <laughs> you cross that hurdle, you got it made. As long as you pay attention. Simple acts of kindness. Simple. You do that, you can keep a woman crazy in love with you for your entire life. Simple acts of kindness. Every time you do a simple act of kindness. Ding! Ding, ding. But guys, we don't think that way. If it's, it's got to be big, it's got to be important. That's why a lot of guys, they'll only go all out for their wives, you know, about four times a year. You know, birthdays, anniversaries, Christmas, and the obligatory Valentine's Day. <laughs> and we think we'll do something real special and real fancy, and, and, and we think, well, that'll hold her. <laughs> but that doesn't hold her. To her, you've done four things all year, you bum. Now, guys, you know, again, they get discouraged. Oh, for crying out. You mean, oh, I can't believe. But listen, you can make this work for you. This is great. I'm about to show you how you can succeed with a woman while doing virtually nothing. <laughs> All right? I thought I'd get an applause out of that, but I guess it's, I don't know. I don't like the sound of this. I... Now, here's an example. You get up in the morning. Your wife's brushing her teeth. You're standing next to the bed. Make the bed. It takes 120 seconds of your life. It's nothing. 
she'll walk into the room and go, huh, you made the bed. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> you know that monument that you're building in the middle of your bedroom of old underwear? <laughs> Pick it up. Throw it in the hamper. She'll walk in. He picked up his underwear. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> when you're done eating dinner, instead of just slugging off in front of the TV like Jabba the Hutt, <laughs> clear off the table. There is, it's 60, 90 seconds of your life. It's nothing! She'll go, he cleared off the table. And, and, and now you're scoring. Ding. But see, guys don't get that. Gray uses this great analogy. He says, if you bring a woman a rose, she'll go, ah, ding. And then men, we think, wait a minute. One rose, one point? A dozen roses, 12 points. <laughs> so we run out and we spend, you know, 80, 90 bucks for a dozen long stem roses and we bring them to her. And she goes, ah, thank you. In fact, by the raising of your hand, how many women would say, I would rather receive a single rose 12 different times than a dozen roses once? Let me see your hand. So you now a guy looks at that and goes, ah. <laughs> That's so inefficient. <laughs> you want to make out like a bandit on this deal? Plan something special for your wife, like taking her out to dinner next Friday night. Nice restaurant. Go ahead and get a babysitter in advance. Get everything all set. But then tell her what you've done. A lot of guys, they'll think, oh, I'll surprise her. No, 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 you amateur. <laughs> surprise her. <laughs> Never try to surprise a woman. So, so, <laughs> what, what you do is you tell her in advance. The minute you tell her, honey, guess what? Next Friday night, we're going to such. I got some nice reservations. I already got a babysitter. We're going to have a great time. The minute you tell her what you're going to do, ding! <laughs> you just got a point. You haven't done it yet. <laughs> All right? <laughs> then, because she's a woman, she's going to tell all the other women in her life about what you've planned. <laughs> and every time she shares with another girl, you know what Bob's got planned? He's going, next Friday night, he's got reservations at such and such, and he's already got a babysitter. So excited. Every time she shares that story, <laughs> ding! <laughs> you get another point. And now you are literally doing nothing. And the beauty of that system is, every time you're earning a point, the husband of the other wife, that poor slob, is losing one. <laughs> so it's kind of like a double coupon thing going for you. You really want to make out like a bandit? Engage your wife in meaningful conversation. <laughs> now, to a lot of women, meaningful conversation means she talks, you shut up and listen. But you can't just drift off into your nothing box. <laughs> you have to let her know that you're hearing her. Every time you acknowledge that you've heard her, ding! So she'll go, la, 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 You go, you don't say. <laughs> ding! <laughs> la, 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 loop de loop de loop de loop. You mean loop de doo <laughs> Ding! <laughs> la, 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 Really, Will, how did that make you feel? And 
and you're doing nothing. <laughs> now, guys, girls, sorry. <laughs> now, girls. You can't, you can't forget that he gives himself huge bonus points for everything he does. So how can a woman earn huge bonus points with a man? <laughs> so sex is a great way to earn great bonus points with a man. But there's another way. And that is when you believe in him. Every man wants his wife to believe in him. Now that sounds like a simple thing to do, especially to you young girls who haven't been married very long. But that's because you haven't heard the incredible stupid ideas he's going to come up with yet. And a lot of women, they, they feel it's their God-given responsibility to try and keep their husbands humble or something, you know, because he'll come up with this idea and they respond, that's stupid. Oh, you're, that'll never work. You could never do that. And they don't realize when you talk to a man like that, you are doing incredible damage to him and to your relationship with him. Men, if you have not figured this out yet, men have very, very fragile egos. We just do. We might look like tough guys on the outside, but we're girly men on the inside because we can't handle that kind of you know, rejection and all that kind of stuff and criticism. Most men don't handle it very well. And, and when women treat their husbands that way, when he tries to share his dreams with you and you dismiss them as stupid and ignorant and, and he can't do that, that's very, very, very damaging. Now, that's not to say you can't challenge his ideas, you know, keep him from destroying himself and the family. That's okay. But you need, to, you need to be his number one fan. Because I'll tell you what happens. When, when you do that, you know what he learns? I cannot share my dreams with this woman. And men will stop telling their wives their dreams. 